Imagine a thousand threshing machines running under full headway, accompanied by as many steamboats, with an equal quota of railroad trains passing through covered bridges. Imagine these massed into a single flock, and you possibly have a faint conception of the terrific roar following the monstrous black cloud of pigeons as they passed in rapid flight in the gray light of the morning, a few feet before our faces. This passage, written in 1871 near the Wisconsin Dells, described a flock of passenger pigeons. It is estimated that there were three to five billion passenger pigeons around the time Europeans began colonizing the United States. During migration from their nesting grounds in Wisconsin, passenger pigeons would form flocks that were so dense they would block out the sun and take hours to pass overhead. And yet, in around 100 years, these birds went from being one of the most numerous birds in North America to becoming extinct. Uh, when Europeans arrived, they noticed uh, enormous flocks of passenger pigeons. And what we now realize is that the size of the flocks were probably pretty well contained by Native Americans who utilized the birds and collected the eggs uh, in the distant past. Once European diseases were introduced to the North American mainland, uh, indigenous populations fell rapidly. And we think that as those populations fell and the predation on the eggs and the nest sites and the young birds dropped, really the passenger pigeon population exploded and got to the size that early Europeans witnessed all across the eastern seaboard and into Wisconsin and the Midwest. So how could this extinction happen? A variety of reasons are to blame. First, the bird's decline was aided by persecution of hunters. Guns, dynamite, clubs, nets, fire, and traps were all used on the birds that many viewed as pests. Because of their tight flocks, more than 1,000 birds could be taken in just a single throw of a net. The infectious Newcastle's disease may have also had a strong effect on the birds as it spread quickly through their large numbers. Additionally, as humans began colonizing the land, a large number of nest sites, habitat, and sources of food were destroyed. Once flocks were reduced to scattered patches in the 1890s, these social birds had difficulty breeding because they preferred large groups for ideal conditions, and females could only lay one egg at a time. So what's interesting about this particular passenger pigeon is it's one of the last birds that we have recorded killed in the state of Wisconsin. The last wild passenger pigeon was witnessed in 1900 after an Ohio boy shot it. Even after that time, a few passenger pigeons survived in captivity with private collections or zoos. The last known passenger pigeon, Martha, lived in the Cincinnati Zoo before passing away in 1914.